Hello, folks. Tonight, I'm going after the Bubble Nebula. And I got off to a bad start uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I, I tossed away that data because my autofocuser wasn't working right. I screwed something up. So I'm redoing this one, and I'm going to be doing uh, three-minute exposures. I'm going to capture HA all night today. And then move on to uh, probably sulfur or oxygen on the next night. And the mean readout is 515. And let's just take a look at one raw image. Come on. Let's see. Medium. Okay, it's coming in pretty good for a single raw image. Let's zoom in a little bit. And uh, that star looks pretty round. I I've been thinking I, I I was thinking about replacing my Celestron Nexstar 8 SC but the more I see some of the pictures it's producing I think I'm just gonna keep it for a while I don't really want to add another new telescope to the mix uh, if I can just get round stars like that and near the center I'm I'm good with it you know I, I think it can take decent pictures and why spend so much more money so that, that's my plan. My plan is not to spend any more money the rest of the year on this hobby. I've said it before. This time I mean it. I'm not kidding. I am not going to spend any more money. You, you heard it here first. Okay. And uh, besides the bubble, I'm also working on the Trifid Nebula. I only have about two hours to work with. Uh, early in the session because that one rises and sets really fast in the low south. And I'm also working on the Helix Nebula. And so uh, I got a lot of open projects going on. And I hope I can keep all this stuff straight. It's a little overwhelming, but I think I can handle it. And while I got you here, let's take a look at my guiding. Let's clear that out. That dither kind of skews the numbers there. Oh, look at that. The It looks like there's haze flashing through here. I don't like that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of hit or miss with the sky today. Uh, 0.68 tote RMS here. That's not bad considering I've got a haze coming and going. So... Uh, I'm just going to keep collecting data, and I'll throw out frames that I don't like if, if they're ruined because of haze. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, I am back, and this is what NGC 6823 looks like. I ran the Hubble palette on it, and it was a dim object to begin with, and I didn't pick up a lot of sulfur and oxygen data. A lot, not a lot was coming through, so it's a little difficult to get this out, but yeah, I'm satisfied with it. Uh, this is almost, I think, around nine and a half hours worth of data. So, you know, I, that's it. I, I quit on this one. I'm done, and I just I put it in Astro Bin. I'll put a link to it in the description. But I uh, wanted to show you something. Now, my stars don't look great in this. And I think, see, there's a lot of, they look flat, the smaller ones do. And I think it's because... I was imaging too soon, not fully waiting for the dithering to recover. I started imaging before, you know, the, the declination climbed all the way back up from a dither. And so I think I've got that problem resolved in my later images that I'm working on now. So, I, you know, I'm not going to redo this one. That That's fine. I'll, I'll let it go. And <clears throat> so that's that. I'm, I'm going to consider this one finished. Now, on to the three projects I'm working on at the same time. And that's because, you know, these objects, they come and go at different times of the night. For example, the Trifid, I only have a couple hours to view it as soon as the nightfall starts. So i got to image that right away. Then I can move on to the Bubble Nebula. And, and in between there, the Helix rises about 1.30 a.m. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm jumping around. Now, this is only 21 min minutes of the, the bubble nebula, and that's what I've got so far. 
and I think the stars, they look, well, not great, not perfect, per, not perfect circles, but I think it's good enough. This is only 21 minutes of data, so, and, and that's what I'm capturing right at this moment. And I captured, this is an hour's worth of data on the Helix Nebula. And this is a cool object, but I, like I said, I have to wait at least until 1.30 a.m. before I can really continue work on this one. And this is the Tripid. And, and these, by the way, are both HA. And I'm going to capture the, the Tripid M20 in broadband. So I'm starting off, I finished the CLS data, and this is what it looks like. And now all I have to do is uh, add RGB to it. So, and this is what I have to capture early, starting at 9.30 p.m. And I've only got a couple hours to work with on that, so I'm hoping maybe in the next session or two I can finish this one for sure. So, uh, we'll see. I, this is about uh, an hour and 20 minutes of CLS data, and I'll probably capture a half hour each of RGB. So, three new projects to work on, and you're probably not going to hear from me for a while until I have all of them complete. So... Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.